What about that AFC Championship game rematch in Kansas City? The reigning back-to-back -back champs taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. But how does the first quarter of the regular season schedule look for the Kansas City Chiefs? Mm. Looks good, but tough. A little yeah. rematch no. with Lamar Jackson. Hello, Joe Burrow and those Bengals. Kirk Cousins Kirk and the Cousins. Falcons. Plus, the L.A. Chargers to round it out. Yeah, first physical, four games. So Kansas City, are they going to run it back a third straight time? In oh. Rob, last season, the entire conversation was around those pass catchers and those drop balls. Yet at the end of it, they hoisted yet another Lombardi. New weapons to this offense. Is that going to make them even more elite? Yeah, I, I mean, first of all, it's been truly amazing to see the evolution of Patrick Mahomes and the evolution of Andy Reid. Remember going back to Philadelphia, Andy Reid couldn't do certain things in That's big right. games. Yep. But now you see Tyreek Hill go out the door, and then this offense evolves, and they win another Super Bowl without Tyreek Hill. And now when you get this receiver out of Texas, Xavier Worthy, you get uh, Marquise Brown out of Arizona – it is speed now on this offense to just open things up to provide more space in this offense. Again, we've seen them go through an evolution where they wanted to be a big offense, wanted to push the ball downfield, and they had to play smaller ball, and you saw Patrick Mahomes adjust. Now with this speed, I know, Kimmy, you talked about those drop passes, but I don't really think they care about that. They just care about those guys screaming down the football field, providing space for this offense. Isaiah Pacheco will be able to find some lanes, and even the offensive line will be able to identify some things in protection a little bit easier. Guys, I think it, add, it, I think it adds another dimension to this Kansas City offense and makes them that much more dangerous. It's got to be terrifying for the rest of the league to see the Super Bowl champions get better like in the offseason. As you, everyone's trying to catch them, all they do is just create more space for their tight end. And that's really what this is about. And you yep. mentioned it, creating space, obviously, for the run game. But those, those speed guys, just like you said, they don't necessarily have to be completions. Or it's just the fact that they're down there. It creates so much room in between the numbers where Patrick loves to work with Travis. We talked about Travis kind of falling off as he's getting older. No, there just wasn't a lot of space. There's yep. a lot of guys you know, constricting on top of him. And he's not allowed to make those plays that he's usually making. So this just opens everything up. You got Hollywood Brown running down the side, Xavier Worthy on the other side, and they got to they got to cover sideline to sideline now. And with Patrick's ability, as you mentioned, him being more efficient now and his maturation, his his intelligence has ramped up even from like he's not just a gunslinger anymore. He understands the game, he studies hard, he really gets it. Now he has the speed to burn, and he's got a veteran tight end to go with it. It's gonna be a lot of fun.